Hi, I'm meteorologist Peter Hall. Here's your NBC3 First Alert forecast. And as we look ahead, our weather today is fairly persistent with cold temps, bit of a breeze, snow showers and flurries, and breaks of sun. And that'll be on tap tonight, tomorrow too. Well, not the sun part, you get the drift. Wind chills today, mainly in the single digits this morning and 4 to 12 this afternoon. You know, the slake effect snow is not overwhelming. What I mean is it's not extremely heavy. We're not seeing ridiculous snowfall rates, but it is rather stubborn. It's pesky, which means we're likely to get accumulations today, tonight and through Tuesday morning before it tapers off. Once this does taper off, Wednesday should be quiet, and then we're going to keep an eye on the southeastern storm for Wednesday night and Thursday. There will be a storm there. The question is, does it hit here? Latest information into the Weather Center says it's either a near miss or a complete miss. We'll talk about it and we'll keep you posted. So here's what's happening. We have a west northwest wind. What it's producing is a wide area of snow showers and flurries east southeast of the lake. And that will vary in intensity today, tonight, and tomorrow. I actually expect it to get a little stronger. Wayne, northern Cuga, northern Onondaga, and Madison counties late this afternoon through this evening. New snow between 4 a.m. today and 5 p.m. this afternoon. Most of us should just get an inch or two. The best chances of getting at least two to maybe locally three to six inches of snow, Rochester, Webster, Walcott, Auburn, Montezuma, and maybe Waterloo. And in those hill towns south of Syracuse, maybe Spafford, Tully, Lafayette, well, Lafayette's borderline, and Toggenburg, Fabius Pompey area. That's today. And the lake effect snow continues east southeast of the lake, rather persistent and steady. You notice it increasing a little bit too. New snowfall, many areas one to two. But I think, including the Syracuse metro area, there'll be an opportunity for two to six inches of snow. Now remember, this is a range. Does it mean everybody gets six? No. But there is an opportunity for places again like Webster, Wolcott, um, Cato, Baldwinsville, Syracuse. DeWitt, Jamesville, Fayetteville, Manlius, down to Hamilton and Casanova to get anywhere from as little as two to locally as much as five to six inches of snow through tomorrow morning. There should be some additional snow showers and flurries on Tuesday. Maybe another coating to an inch or two. Tomorrow has an opportunity to be the coldest day so far this month with a high of only 15. Any localized snow showers and flurries diminish Tuesday evening and then with clear sky, fresh snowpack, and still Arctic air over us. I think we're going to have a very cold start to Wednesday morning with likely below zero temperatures region wide. Well, at least the sun will be out bright though on Wednesday, 90% sun with only breaks of sunshine expected today and tomorrow. Probability obviously very high for some lake effect snow or flurries today and tomorrow. A zip, zip, no chance of any snow Wednesday. Now, Wednesday night into Thursday is our opportunity to get that storm, but it's only a one in three chance for accumulating snow. Right now, it looks like a miss, but let's not write it off yet. It's still, as of this recording, before sunrise Monday, we're talking about a storm that starts Wednesday night. Things could change. I will keep you posted on that. Here's your seven day forecast. The normal highs in the low to mid 30s, and we're well below that today, tomorrow, and to Wednesday. We're close to normal Thursday, Friday, and then going below normal again for this upcoming weekend. Local temperatures reaching a high today, all of us in the lower 20s. You can still see the cold air that's over the Northeast and Great Lakes, still warmest across the South as usual. I'm meteorologist Peter Hall. Hope you have a great day.